Hello fellow steamers, here we have a Bowman M140. This is a twin cylinder steam engine. I think she's, yeah, there she goes, she's ready to go. I did a little bit of priming on it. I cleaned it up since my last video. Polished the boiler. And I really, this comes with the original box. M140. I was just looking at it earlier. It looks like some kid shut the box with a pellet. Try to kind of pull it out, but it's in there pretty decent. But yeah, so we got the original box, the original burner. I'm using the Bix burner just because it's easier. I did have to recreate and make a chimney, and I made it a smoking chimney because somebody already had the plumbing there. And I found out it's, it's a good idea to move the uh, steam line over and purge it before you put it in the chimney and fill it up with water. That's a great little engine. Running on a really low flame right now. I don't think we have much flame there at all. Yeah, there's a bubble. And that's good, that's fine. It's an incredibly powerful engine. I was surprised. I'm putting a pretty good pull on that thing. I assume the original band will blur. Lamp, as they call it, works. I've not tried it, but no reason to believe it doesn't. But we did get all the soot off the boiler. Cleaned up a little bit of the brass. I changed the uh, configuration of the flywheel and the drive wheel. It was, this was over there. In the original advertisement, it shows it like it is now. So I changed it back to what should be the original factory. Although I've seen it both ways. I did a sympathetic kind of a restoration on it. I left the original base because I wanted to keep that Bowman label intact. I did repaint the firebox and polished up the boiler and made a chimney. And it is what you see here. It's the final runner. This has become a real favorite of mine. I put a new spring on the safety valve. She is smoking up the chimney. There we go. I really like this engine. Thanks for looking, folks. As always, I appreciate it. Bellman M140 M stands for metal base. E stands for wood, I found out. There we have it. As always, thanks for looking, folks. Bye now.